My girlfriend laughed at me when I attempted to talk dirty. <laughs> Damn, I'm laughing at him already. My girlfriend laughed at me when I attempted to talk dirty during sex, then calling me feminine because I asked her why she was laughing. It completely killed the mood for me, and I stopped the act. I told her it bothered me, then she got mad and called me insecure. Am I in the wrong here? Wow, I can't. Whew. This this is a this is a very short question, but there's a lot to break down. So let me, I might go very, I might go one sentence at a time right now because this is fucked up. Okay, my girlfriend laughed at me. My girlfriend laughed at me when I attempted to talk dirty over sex. If you're not regularly like off, like when you guys first start having sex with your girlfriend, if you're not already talking dirty, randomly bringing it out a couple of months later into the relationship, a couple of weeks later into the relationship, some guys, it might wait a couple of years to actually learn how to talk dirty and how to have effective sex. That is a lot for your partner. If you're dating a girl and suddenly you switch up your fucking routine and start breaking out different moves and start talking dirty, she's not used to this. Especially if you're a feminine man, like it sounds like this guy is. If your girlfriend thinks you're a quiet type, if your girlfriend thinks you're feminine and you start randomly trying different things to suddenly be more masculine because Andrew Tate convinced you like, yeah, bro, you gotta switch it up. Yeah, she's gonna laugh at you. She's gonna treat you like you're a soft ass male because you are a soft ass male. When she met you, you were soft. You can't switch it up now. Maybe with another girlfriend, you can try to implement these moves and she'll probably like you for it. But with your current girlfriend, it's too late, bro. You can't switch it up. You can't start suddenly talking dirty and expect her to just go along with it. Then she called me feminine because I asked her while she was laughing. Okay, so your girlfriend is laughing at you in the middle of you fucking because you're you're saying, yeah, fuck me harder, bitch, or something silly like that. She heard you say that in your soft ass voice and started laughing at you, rightfully so. Then she kind of, she already stabbed you, like right in your face, stabbed you by laughing at you in the middle of having sex. And then she's gonna twist the knife a little bit more by calling you feminine. Now, is she, is she fucked up for calling you feminine? Yeah, to, to the extent, but you all feminine. If you guys, I don't know how long you guys been together, but if a girl just calls you feminine, it says a lot about her. And I don't know if this is the first girl you ever been with, but trust me, she is not the first person you've encountered who thinks you're feminine. This is something that's been on her mind for a long time and probably every other girl you've been with. She's used to you being soft. She's used to you being, quite frankly, insecure. She's used to you showing female traits. And if that's the case, then she's probably the masculine one in the relationship. She's so masculine, she feels comfortable laughing in your fucking face in the middle of having sex. She's so masculine that she's willing to call you insecure in the middle of having sex. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> She knows you have feelings and she doesn't care about them. She threw your feelings out the fucking window because you're the feminine person in the relationship. Even if she takes your feelings and tosses them out, you're gonna come right back. She doesn't care. She knows that you're willing to bend over backwards to make her happy. So yeah, you made her mad. Yeah, she made you mad. But at the end of the day, you're probably gonna take her back. You're probably gonna continue fucking her and you're probably gonna stop trying to talk dirty because you think, well, yeah, she didn't like it the first time, so there's no point. That is a feminine way to go about things. So is he in the wrong here? No, the only thing he did wrong is continue seeing this person. The only thing he did wrong is to make a Reddit post about it and continue moving on through life. This guy needs to drop this girl. Yes, this guy is feminine as fuck. That being said, it's never too late to make a masculine change. It's never too late to become a Chad. It's never too late to stop being an NPC, to stop being so soft, so gentle. He can be the Chad. He can be the masculine, charismatic male. But with this girl, it might be too late. With this girl, he might have to drop her because she's not used to this drastic change. She can't handle this drastic change. And to be honest, can you blame her? That's like if you went to McDonald's for lunch every single day and got the same thing every single day, a burger and fries, and then suddenly one day you go to McDonald's and they're selling burritos, they're selling healthy wraps, they're selling healthy bowls, and even though it's good for you, they are only selling this now. Despite it being good for you, your natural reaction would be, I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. I didn't come here every single day for this. So why am I suddenly being forced to have this? 
Fuck no. She is used to you being a feminine man every single day. And then suddenly you want to grow some balls. Suddenly you want to act like a Chad because you know you should be a Chad. She doesn't want that. She didn't sign up for this. She knew you was feminine from the beginning and that is what attracted her. So my best advice for this young gentleman is to move on. Find a feminine woman who will appreciate your newly found masculine traits. Then and only then can this guy really grow. Let's read some of the comments. This is from, I'm not even gonna try to read this fucking name. Dirty talk makes me giggle sometimes. I'm a woman, so I get that part. However, it's always a giggle out of either nervousness or excitement because the part of this something extremely silly or exaggerated meant to drown out a giggle or a laugh. Yeah, laughing during sex is not super out of the ordinary. There's been times, especially if I never, if I know I didn't really get the girl in the right mood to have sex, we're just kind of having sex because we can have sex. Yeah, there's going to be times where she might giggle or laugh because she's not really in the mood yet. The only reason we're having sex is because one of us wants to have sex and the other one is like, oh, okay, sure. Like, no big deal. So in those times, yeah, my girlfriend might laugh or I might laugh because, oh, the way she moaned was funny or the thing she said was kind of weird. So yeah, we'll laugh. But this guy, he was 100% in the moment and his girlfriend just didn't take him seriously. He was in the mood she wasn't. That is straight up disrespectful. You can't tolerate that, especially during sex. And you especially can't tolerate things like name calling and being labeled feminine while you're fucking. That is the most masculine act you can have as a man, fucking. And during that moment, she called him feminine. That shit will hurt me to its core. And I assume it will hurt you as well. But let's finish reading what she had to say. There's nothing wrong with that a bit. However, I like laughing in your face and calling you feminine is a very disrespectful thing to do. And most likely came as a defensive reflex after the moment was ended abruptly. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's that's fair, I guess, but nah, bro. You can't you can't tolerate that. You can't tolerate these labels, these forms of name calling. You can't tolerate this level of disrespect, bro. That is crazy. There's a chance that she wasn't meaning to be rude when she laughed and then got defensive and became rude. Either way, she handled the situation terribly and was definitely in the wrong. Not you. There's no reason I could think of for her to call you feminine without it being malicious or her just calling it how she sees it. He's a feminine ass individual. A lot of guys need somebody to be blunt, somebody to straight up tell you who you really are, not who you hope to be, not the character you imagine in your head, who you really fucking are. And for this guy, it was his girlfriend. His girlfriend straight up told him, you're feminine. This wasn't her just talking out her ass. This, isn't what, this wasn't her just trying to be mean for the sake of being mean. This was her calling it how she sees it. She sees a feminine man and she's gonna let it be known in the most inopportune time for him. You're feminine. I'm tired of you being so fucking defensive. I'm tired of you trying to act like you're something you're not. You're not masculine, you're feminine, so stay feminine. A little unnecessary advice if you're looking for it. When doing dirty talk, figure out what her kinks are and then say naughty shit. And I mean naughty, lol. Full on graphic descriptions of what you're doing to her. Read read a spicy book for more info. <laughs> dirty talking is not, it's only weird if you make it weird. For some quick advice when it comes to dirty talk. Do dirty talk, have dirty talk, say the most graphic shit possible, whatever. Just make sure you're doing it from the beginning. Don't suddenly try to add something to your arsenal that was never there to begin with. When you meet a new girl, yeah, have dirty talk. Even if it sounds weird to you, to her, she's not really thinking twice about it. She's in the moment, hopefully having a good time while she's having sex with you. If she's having a good time, she won't question your dirty talk. But if you're not really doing much, if she's just kind of laying there going through the motions, yeah, she's gonna be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Ew, is that what he wants me to do? Like, yeah, so if you know what you're doing, if you know how to have decent sex, then please add dirty talk to your arsenal. But if you're trash in the bedroom and the girl is just kind of laying there, then hey, maybe stick with being quiet because you're only making things even more awkward. And the rest of these comments are just kind of regurgitating what I'm saying. Yeah, this guy, this guy is a feminine person and he found out in the worst way possible. I'm just happy he found out eventually because most men, they go through their whole entire lives being feminine. They die feminine. They die with kids 
who don't respect them. <laughs> they die with a wife who doesn't respect them. They die with a family who just doesn't respect them because you're the you're the second half in every equation. You're number two in every relationship. You're the feminine individual in every single relationship. That's an unfortunate place to be in. This guy is finally learning that he is feminine and he needs to make a change. Unfortunately, it took him fucking to do it. Don't be like this guy. Don't be an NPC. Don't find out in the worst way possible that you're feminine. Realize right now that there's changes you need to make in order to be masculine, to be a Chad, to be the main character. But that's it for today, bro. My name is Marquise. Love you. Check out the links in the description. See you in the next video. Peace out.